In today's gaming news, Magic 2015 will allow full deck customization, the development of Skywind pushes forward, and item duping threatens ESO's in-game economy. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. My name is Force, here with your day's gaming news. First up today, it's that time of the year once again where we expect our next installment of Duels of the Planeswalkers and Duels 2015 has been announced. It will be coming out sometime this summer and is set to include some really exciting new features but it's also excluding some stuff that we were wishing was there. So here's the deal, full deck customization kind of full, deck customization is going to be in the game. Apparently how it's going to work in Duels 2015 is you start off by selecting a two color deck. There are no pre-constructed decks in the game. You pick two colors, a deck will be constructed for you, and that's with the limited card pool. And then as you play through the campaign, you will unlock all of the cards eventually, which is, I believe, uh, they said upwards of 300 total cards here in Duels 2015. And then you have free reign to build the deck that you want. Now there is a restriction Restriction. You can only have four of any common, two of any uncommon, and one of every rare. So it isn't exactly the full customization that we would like, but it's a step in that direction, which is very exciting. Now I mentioned that we're going to be losing something that we loved about the Duel series, and that is the two-headed dragon gameplay mode where it's a 2v2, you and a friend play against two other people. That's not gonna be in Duels 2015, at least as of the uh, moment of this announcement. The reports that I've seen so far have said that that is out. It may eventually come in, and I hope it does because this is probably one of the more interesting gameplay modes when it comes to multiple people. I guess there is gonna be a four player free for all, but no 2v2. Kind of leaves me scratching my head as to why that can't still be an option. But now that we have just, here's the all these cards, build the decks that you want, I think we're going to see a much more varied metagame. And that is very exciting for me as someone who grew up by building your own deck with the physical card game. So either way, I'm looking forward to checking out those 2015. I'm looking forward to seeing these new additions. I'm sad that Two-Headed Giant is getting out, but hopefully we get it back in and a content update or maybe just before launch if the outcry is big enough, they'll add it in anyways we'll have to see. Next up in news the development of Skywind is continuing to push forward. We just saw the release of the Skywind developer video number two in which they detailed some of the additions and changes that have come into the game or the mod since the last game. If you're still not aware Skywind is a Skyrim mod that is going to be recreating all of Morrowind within Skyrim's engine. Now in the video they touch on a few things including the crafting, voice acting, and music changes. Uh, the landscape that they've crafted as well as some of the creatures it's also basically an outreach uh, video looking for more people to assist with the project they're looking for more people for 3d modeling looking for people to help with crafting the unique music that has that Morrowind vibe they're looking for help with the voice acting as well maybe that's something I could do I kind of suck I only have one voice and it's just kind of eh the voice is all right. Uh, anyways, they're looking for help. So if you're interested in helping the development of Skywind along, of course, reach out to them. There'll be info and a link to the video here in this video's description right below. And in other Elder Scrolls news, the Elder Scrolls Online is continuing to have launch issues. There were bugs, there was, you know, some server issues and latency problems, but now we've got a real serious problem, and that is item duping. Uh, late last week, it hit headlines across the internet and all over YouTube uh, that item duping was running rampant in the Elder Scrolls Online. Basically, a, some sort of a system using the Guild Bank as a way to duplicate items instantly, then sell those items to vendors to get gold, was absolutely flooding Elder Scrolls Online's market. There's Now there's just tons of gold all over the place. People were just doing this nonstop, accumulating a lot of gold, accumulating a lot of high-end crafting materials, crafting a bunch of uh, high-end legendary items, and there's a big problem right now. There appears to be a big problem. Now, there was some server downtime in which they appear to address the issue. They shot off guild banks, and evidently that is issue is fixed. But just a couple of hours ago, a post went up on Reddit saying that there are still mo more item duping. There's still mo more item duping processes that are taking place by dupers in game right now, and that it's still an issue. So, what's going on? Is, is ESO's in game currency is is the market just completely destroyed at this point? Now, there is no global auction house. The game has guild auction houses, but I just I'm 
I'm a little worried for the game's economy. I'm a little worried for the in-game market in ESO. Now, I actually haven't played the game, and it's been about half a week. I think I put it down last Wednesday or Thursday. Spent some time with... I just needed a break. I was going crazy within two weeks since the game launched. I put in over six days of in-game time. I mean, that's... That's a lot of hours. That's what it is, over 150 hours, close to 150 hours right there. Uh, I put a lot of time in within two weeks. I took a little break. All of this stuff has blown up. I haven't seen any ramifications in game. I don't have any details as to how exactly it's being done. All I know is that it was happening. Zenimax fish fixed the issue. There's apparently still more issues going on. And on top of that, they did some mass bans to try to get rid of uh, gold spammers and people who were duping. And a whole bunch of innocent gamers got caught in the crosshairs. Uh, a bunch of complaints going up about people just playing the game. They're like level 12. They don't, they, they're not even far enough to do anything of, uh, you know, ridiculous. And, uh, <laughs> and they're getting banned. So they're, they're just, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a mess right now. If this doesn't get resolved, this could be a huge, huge problem. You know, the game's economy could be affected for, I, I kid you not, years. What are they going to do? If this currency keeps circulating... People who are innocent, who don't even know, are going to get caught up within this currency. You know, say buying mats, they're really cheap right now because people can make infinite of them. And then they have all this rare this rare gear on, this epic gear on, and they didn't even know that item duping was going on. Let alone all the gold that's now flooding the economy. I mean, this is a big problem. I don't, unless they do a huge rollback, which would infuriate everybody, especially those not involved, myself. If we got rolled back like a week and a half and I lost all my progress, like this would be, this is a problem. Uh, I am not sure in exactly how they will go about fixing it. I'm interested to see Zenimax response to this. This will be a situation that continues to unfold over the upcoming weeks uh, as they try to fix these new item duping methods that are going on. And then how do they fix the effect on the game's economy that's taken place so far? Again, I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments section below. And that's going to do it, guys, for today's episode of the show. As always, thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been force-fed. I honestly didn't even know this was happening. I've been out of the loop for this game for like four or five days, and just things fall out from under everyone. I, it's crazy. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind a little extra gold. I'm not. I don't want item dupe. But if anyone has a little extra gold that they came upon, if they want to give it to me, you know, I just a little extra gold would be fine. I'll take some. I'll take some gold. Is it dirty gold? Yeah.